Most people in America are familiar with storytelling, and storytelling is something that every human being typically does. I mean, let's face it, we get up, we go to school, we come home from school, we tell our mom and dad what happened during the day because parents are social and curious and they want to know what's going on in their child's life in any way. Then we move into adulthood, we go through college, we meet people and we have things going on in our classes and with our social responsibilities and our social relationships and openly we start sharing our stories. It's what makes affinities, what makes friendships, it makes colleague networks and it makes our security in our employment for the future. We then move into of course our professional networking for that job and as a part of that we have to relate stories. We relate stories about what's happened to us, about what we've achieved, about the project we've done and eventually we get through a recruiter to the HR director to the hiring director and we make a living. And of course, every day we've got things going on in the job that we have to relate in stories to other people about what they need from us or what we need from them, and that's part of storytelling. Now, when I'm talking about this concept, I'm trying to tell you that there's always three sides to every story is possibly true. But when it comes to personal individual rights, privacy rights, medical rights, society rights, technology rights, telecommunication rights, that's not always true. The individual in America is still king, which means whoever owns it technically owns it, which means whoever owns it morally owns it. And the truth is that the people that lie, steal, and cheat American citizens out of their lives and out of their opportunities and out of their rights are usually people that don't deserve our help at all.